Hey, 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 welcome to episode two of my video blog. I'm here in the office still. If you're following on for video, <laughs> video blog episode number one, it's the same day, at the same time. I just realised I'm uploading video blog number one, right? And the first episode of my blog. And I never gave a shout out to those that deserve it, right? So I'm sitting here thinking to myself, you know, I had all these, these inspirations for doing the video blog and I never mentioned any one of them. So I feel really quite bad about that. So I thought I'd come in and do video blog number two immediately while it was hot and it's fresh. And I want to give a shout out to a couple of people uh, who've inspired me to to sort of do this video, right? Um, there's a reason, there's actually another reason why I'm doing the video as well. I've done podcasts before. I'm going to do a podcast. I'm still going to do podcasting. Um, but the other thing I've been doing is periscoping. I've done hundreds of periscope videos, right? And the problem with periscope is that it's a great channel, don't get me wrong, it's great for like interacting with an audience like right now, that's great, but it's not very permanent, right? There's a big problem there, like nobody watches the, the uh, Periscope replays, right? And uh, no one's going back through the archives watching Periscope replays, right? But they'll watch this because it's permanent, it's on YouTube, it's in its own marketplace. People will listen to my podcast because it's in its own marketplace as well and people can discover it really, really easily. Whereas... The Periscope stuff is just like too transactional, right? And I, I like it and I'll probably still use the platform, but I'd rather create evergreen, more permanent content, right? That's really what it's all about at the end of the day. So I want to give a shout out to a couple of people, right? Um, first of all, I want to give a shout out to Andy Brown, right? Andy Brown, I met him about 18 months ago, right? And ever since then, my life, my business has changed, right? And the reason for that, and Andy's probably watching this thinking, you know, what happened. And uh, basically, Andy introduced me to lots of different people at a very special time for me when I was really, really like a sponge, right? Just trying to drink it all in. People like Marcus Sheridan who've had a massive impact on me, right? But Andy is great at recommending other resources, right? He'll say like, check this guy out. Look at what this guy's doing. And he listens to a lot of podcasts and podcast interviews. And so when Andy says like, check this out or listen to this, I usually bank it or I'll listen to it at some point or right away in fact sometimes. Because what Andy, when Andy's got like some inspiration or inspired from someone, usually I am too. So Andy Brown has kind of been like a funnel for me. He's kind of like, pushed me into a space, right? Or not pushed me into this, he's pulled me in and he just signposts all these great resources, right? So Andy Brown is one of the big reasons why I'm doing this video blog right now. But he also pushed me to, or encouraged me to check out a guy called Casey Neistat as well, right? Now, Casey was on a Gary Vaynerchuk show. Gary Vaynerchuk is also a big influence on me as well. Massive, actually. The reason I started my first blog back in 2010 was because of Gary Vaynerchuk. This is a big part of it as well, the video. Um, I've taken a lot from Gary as well. I say Gary like I know him, but Gary Vaynerchuk, Gary V. So check him out as well. But Casey Neistat has done like a, is doing a video blog and he's done movies and all that kind of stuff as well. And I was listening to an interview with him on the Tim Ferriss show recently, and that really got me inspired to actually just do, just do it, just take action and get the video done. So Casey Neistat, Andy Brown, Gary Vaynerchuk, uh, who else is doing video? Um, Amy Schmitter as well, right? So I've been checking out her blog. She's just done like 500 video blogs and she's kind of in the marketing social media space. So kind of very similar space to, I, to what I'm in as well, except I don't want this video blog to be just about marketing. I want it to be about lots of other things as well. Um, so there's Amy and I'm trying to think. I've got like some stuff up on my whiteboard here too, so I'll have a little check and see who's on here, right? So the other guys, the other guys that I've been checking out are, uh, well, Amy and Casey, right? And the other guy that's on my list is Ben Brown, but I haven't checked out any of his stuff yet. He's on my list to check out. And the other guy, right, this is very recent for me in this last year or so, I've never met him, uh, is Mark Whitehand as well, right? And Mark has just been doing his video blog recently, and I really, really like it. It's raw, it's but mostly highly produced as well. Like, I'm not going to do anything way anywhere near as highly produced as him, especially not right away. Um, but it's again, it's the same message. It's like, like get your story out there, um, let people hear your story, share your story, all that kind of stuff. And really, really solid, really nice message. I really liked his. I really like Mark's stuff. So if you're going, to, if you want to get any recommendations for other video bloggers, I would definitely check out Mark. I'll, I'll try and I'll put links into the comment section or links into the description section of this one, so you can check out theirs as well. Uh, Mark, uh, Casey, Gary. Uh, Amy and uh, Andy doesn't have a video blog but Andy has been 
you know how like he he didn't influence me through his own video blogs, but he influenced me by signposting me to these people. So that's those have been my big influence influencers. Or, um, although Gary Vaynerchuk, I wouldn't class it as a vlogger as such, but he is massively in you know and is massive in the video space. You know who else has just popped into my mind as well that's had a massive influence on me on video as well is Pete Matthew. Pete Matthew has done like three hundred video episodes. Um, you might know Pete Matthew as the number one UK podcaster, as UK podcaster of the year 2015 for Meaningful Money, really popular, uh, really highly popular money, um, sort of like a, a money podcast, basically. So you can find that out Meaningful Money, but he also did like 300 videos prior to his 140 odd podcast episodes that he's done. So he's done tons, tons of content over the last sort of three, four, five years. So Pete Matthews also a big influence on me. I'll put all these links into the description section so you can check all these guys out. But that's who's influenced me recently. Uh, that's the reason that um, I've been influenced and sort of motivated and inspired to do this. So I really should have planned this out better and put this as video blog number one. But here's my video blog influencers episode number two. Thanks for checking it out. Hope you're having an awesome day and you're doing amazing things. Don't forget to be awesome.